हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू स्टैंडर्ड नाइन हिस्ट्री एंड पॉलिटिकल साइंस लेट एस कंटिन्यू द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ पॉलिटिकल साइंस पार्ट टू सो फार वी हैव सीन द इंटरडिपेंडेंस ऑफ कंट्रीज एंड इंटरनेशनल रिलेशंस थ्रू फॉरेन पॉलिसीज नाउ we are going to see the background of the world war first the world in which we live today has been shaped through many events and developments hence we need to go back to history in order to understand today's world we know that two world war were fought in the last century these were the most important event in the world in that century the world completely changed because of them new currents of thought emerged let us understand what else happened due to these world war so let us begin the first world war try to understand it the first world war was fought between 1914 to 1918 which lasted near about 4 years day and night it was fought this war was fought on on the grounds of european nations major countries of europe took part in it europe had a very central place in the international or global system at that time the war caused a tremendous loss of life and property so here many people died many soldiers died uh, standing crops were burned the roads were uh, destroyed the industries were destroyed the bridges were uh, sabotaged and uh, it took tremendous tremendous losses of uh, life and property so the century which joined the war suffered i'm sorry the countries which joined the war suffered tremendous economic losses so almost all the countries have spent lots of money on weapons and on soldiers and both the both the powers wanted to win this war and therefore they went to uh, in they went to other extreme so as i said even the countries which did not join the war were impacted by this war so those countries which did not take part also suffered the economic of the victorious as well as the losing countries collapsed so the victorious countries as well as uh, they uh, the losing countries their economy had totally collapsed so the world was divided into two powers which were the countries involved in the first world war so they were two powers as i said one allied power and the countries were britain france russia italy and america their opponents were central powers the countries were germany austria hungary ottoman empire and bulgaria so in this way world was divided into two military camps at the end of the first world war all the nations felt that such a war should not happen again and same measures need not need to be taken some measures need to be taken to achieve that end so the end is to stop the war and to foster peace in the world an international organization called the league of nation was established out of this thinking 
it became an important platform to solve international dispute and carry out negotiations. The League of the Nation was an important platform to have to foster peace in the world, to uh, stop the war, to negotiate all the disputes which uh, takes place between or among the countries. The main responsibility of the League of Nations was to avoid the war in the world. So this was uh, important factors. After the First World War, major changes came about in Europe and outside the Europe. For example, earlier, a earlier empire in Europe collapsed and new nations came into being. So earlier, the uh, the autocratic regimes was there, the empire was there, it collapsed and now those empires became the new nations. Many European countries had their colonies in the continent of Africa and Asia. So um, we know that right from Vasco da Gama, um, they went to different uh, continent and establish their colonies over there in order to do better business. In this continent, movements for independence started in their colonies. These movements challenged the hegemony of the European nations. So they wanted to have independence and therefore they challenged the European uh, nations who started uh, ruling or either doing the business. League of Nations was established after the First World War to establish peace in the world. So uh, League of Nations is an organization which was established after the First World War because the entire world saw the losses which every country faced. And therefore, they said that we do not want to fight again. We do not want any war again. And therefore, this war should be stopped. Hence, the organization worldwide should be established and League of Nations was, uh, came in existence. But it did not succeed as at preventing war. Because League of Nations uh, was made out of the victorious as well as the uh, the losing countries, uh, they were the members, and a uh, victorious nation had provided them the military help. But when the when the dictator started, uh, I'm sorry, uh, when the dictator started fighting, uh, the military help uh, they did not get on time. That was one reason. Uh, secondly, uh, the, the countries like America and Britain did not help uh, during the crisis and therefore, therefore uh, League of Nations failed. Autocratic regimes came up in Germany, Italy, Spain and Germany. So in Germany, Adolf Hitler came up with his Nazism, Mussolini with his fascism, and in Spain, Francisco Franco. These were the three dictators arose at that time. All these developments culminated in the Second World War. So. Uh, because of this dictator, Second World War uh, started. So let us see the uh, point, think and write. The autocratic dictatorial regime of Hitler came up in Germany. What would have happened had the democratic traditions been stronger in Germany? 
what precautions should we take in order to prevent the rise of autocratic regime autocratic regime means the either the dictator or one person ruling the nation what is your opinion the league of nation was established to prevent war but it failed to avoid the war what measures should the league league have taken to prevent the wars so please find out these questions and their answers through the internet and uh, we have seen how the first world world war took place how the world was divided into allied power and central power then how the world suffer and so many losses of property and uh, uh, losses of life took place then the league of nation was established to have peace in the world and league of nation also failed so because of that autocratic regime came up in germany italy and spain and this development culminated the second world war in the next lecture we are going to study the second world war please read the topic prepare yourself till then goodbye all the best to you